All right, all right. Welcome to day two of quarantine, the 3rd of January 2021 here at the Intercontinental in Perth. The jet lag and the quarantine is real today. This person, how many meltdowns have you had today? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Okay. All right, we're going to roll with six. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Let's move. Go to kiss for dad. So it was a rather rough night. I know we had a massive sleep the day before to like midday, 1 p.m. We thought it might help to get rid of the jet lag, but then she went to bed at close to nine o'clock and then was tossing and turning. It was eventually about 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. by the time she got to sleep and we got to sleep. So we still got up at about 7.30 or 8. Sarah's done a bit of exercise. Oh, we did some marble run. Check out this marble run. This is really cool. We did it on the thing over here, right across the bed. That was uh, a bit of fun. This morning we've been exploring the room and all the fun stuff we can do. She's now drawing on mum's hand, which is rather cute. It's almost time for her to go to bed. We've had our second meal of the day. So much food and really good food. So zero complaints there. That was a quick update. Jet lag is real. Apart from that, all pretty good. We'll check in again later. All right, welcome back. We have had our first challenge for quarantine from uh, Stevie Nicholson, AKA Super Stevie. And he suggested, why don't we let Young Sophia, do dad's makeup. Let's see what happens. Well, uh, thanks for that one, Super Stevie. You're the best friend ever. All right, it's uh, the end of day two. The kids are asleep and we have survived, which is great news. We had some other positive news today. The results from our COVID test they did yesterday came back and the results were negative, which is in fact a very positive thing. And uh, funnily enough, watching TV tonight, we saw they're playing the uh, Mitsubishi TV commercial that Sarah and I shot in 2020 again or quite a bit actually so that was nice seeing that we had another challenge come in from a buddy of mine g wiz g wiz is the camera operator all round tech genius who tours with myself and the robertson brothers for the show we're touring at the moment which hopefully we're touring again when we get back on the road this year 2021 and his challenge was can sophia say his name g wiz check it out Now, we actually had some questions come in as well. People wanted to know things about what goes on in quarantine. The first question was, what's the procedure with getting food? They put the system really well down pat. There's no contact with the delivery people. All the meals are pre-prepared, three square meals a day that are really good, really generous, really balanced. We've been very happy with the food so far. You get a phone call. They say the food's been dropped at your door. It's been pre-dropped, so the delivery people have already left. You go out, collect your food, bring it in, eat it, enjoy it, and when you're finished, put it outside the door and it's collected before they serve the next meal. So it's pretty simple and been pretty good. The second question was, how do they transport you to the hotel and what was the isolation like? When we arrived on the plane, it was a bit longer to uh, disembark the airplane because they got you off in stages. Once you arrived in the terminal, you went and collect your baggage as normal. You, however, were in sort of a an isolated area which was just for your flight so no contact with outside people lots of police lots of security so that there was no kind of cross contamination heaps of forms heaps of things to fill out you had to get a, a good to go pass which was a digital thing we'd already filled out a thing for the Australian government declaring when we were coming home where we'd been for contact tracing there's police presence I think there was a sort of mental health practitioner there who was there to kind of check how you're going what it's going to be like going to quarantine it was a long process you went through your usual customs we declared some nuts so they had to check the bag for nuts whatever then you sit you wait then they take you kind of out of back entrance from the airport onto the tarmac where they've got uh, buses waiting for you and a police escort super famous four buses in fact for all of maybe 
40 people, so they were pretty spaced out on the buses as well. These were all people from our flight, by the way. We took the buses back to the hotel, police escort either end and a convoy of buses. We park outside the hotel, the police kind of blocked off people on the streets and any passers-by, family or couple or individual by individual group, you go into the hotel, you check in, take your bags, get a room key, they explain what's going on, up to your room, close the door, and that's it. You kind of don't open the door, you don't leave again for 14 days, and we are day two. So I hope that answered your questions. Um, any more questions, please send them. Um, more challenges, love to do them. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for day three. Bye.